back here with Luandre Gallimore, Model State wide receiver. How you doing today, sir? I'm good. How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. Um, let's start off at the beginning. You were born and raised in Miami. Born and raised. What part? Miami Gardens. You played your football your whole life. My whole life. What's it like growing up playing football in Miami? Uh, playing football in Miami just it's competition everywhere. Every park, every city, competition everywhere. So it's either you gonna stand out or you gonna lay down. You ain't gonna be a nobody. What little league team did you play for? Um, I played for North Day Optimist for a few years. Then I went to West Pines. Then I went back to North Day for another my last year. And that's the only two parks I really played for. Okay, okay. And what high school did you attend? Uh, I went to Miami Northern and I went to Matter Academy. And you always played wide receiver? Uh, nah, I played I played running back in Optimus. That's how I got so fast. I played running back, but once I got the once I got the high school my freshman year. I have O'Shawn and Joseph that linebacker, Emmett, Emmett Rice. I'm like, man, I, I can't, I can't play, I can't play no more running back. Them boys too big and now I had to <laughs> go receiver. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, what's your great, what, what's your greatest attribute for you at receiver? Um, uh, my speed and my mouth. Okay, okay. Um, I got here for your senior season. You had 11 touchdowns with 800 plus receiving yards. Yes, sir. In a single season. In a single season. Okay, okay. How did how did that how did that season end for you guys? Um, that was my senior season at high school. We actually lost to St. Thomas in the third round playoffs. They beat us bad, but I had fun. I had fun because I I balled. I played straight out. Okay. What was the recruiting process for you like coming out of high school? Would you recruit uh, heavily? I mean, I wasn't recruited enough to meet. As I thought I was, like my skip, my talent and my skill, but I mean it was kind of slow. I had some looks at New Orleans, then once I transferred to Matt Academy, it slowed down, and it kind of like you know switched on me. I thought I was going, it was going to speed up at Matt Academy, but we got to matter, played a few games, um, but also State one of the coaches reached out to me, he checked me in, he liked me. I talked to the head coach. She was like. He gonna make sure you know he used me at my position, used my speed and stuff like that. And then ever since that, I just rolled it out, just built my own legacy. What was the adjustment like from high school to football, to f from high school football to college football? What did you do differently to help you win at the next level? Um, I actually started lifting weights in, in college. I didn't start lifting weights probably to like, I don't know. I, I really don't lift weights. I just I just started working out a little harder. That's crazy, I, man. Cause when I watch it, my bad. When I watch a highlight table, call you the answer, man. Real AI, <laughs> AI, man. A lot of people. Uh, so you have Valdosta State now. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say um, you and your team only went twenty five and zero because of the division you guys play in. Okay. For the, for those that don't know, Valdosta is in the Gulf Southern Conference Division Two football. What do you have to say about that? Oh, uh, I mean. Man, D2 wise, we in the hardest conference it is. If it ain't no GSC team, they really ain't nobody. I mean, a lot of people say, you know, I'm only good because of Division Two. I mean, but it ain't nothing against like for nobody. Like it's it's whatever. I anybody like can get it. Anybody got feel like I can go anywhere and play top quality football because that's just who I am. I mean, it's not my fault I wasn't heavily recruited, but <laughs> that's what they pushed me to. You know, I'm always the underdog, so I guess anything I do is just not good enough, but I mean, I just the way of life. Who cares? I understand the majority of the coaching staff left going into the 2019 season. How did you handle that? How Were there any worries going into that season? No, nah, I mean, coaching staff left, I mean, it devastated me knowing that, you know, we was going to have the same team three for the next three years. And every year was really supposed to be ours from that point. We were supposed to win every year. But, I mean, that devastated the whole team, not just because, you know, our coaches left. It's just like a piece of the family had just checked out. It's just like losing grandma and granddad, just an important part of the family. They just up and left. They checked out on us. You know, we wasn't expecting that at all. Your heart is listed at 5'10". Corners usually are about 6'1", six, 6'2". Six, How you handle that matchup? Well, I see you handle it great. But I know when you come to the line, it got to be something in your head. Uh, nah, man, because 
at the end of the day, soccer really don't mean nothing because, you know, it's a lot of big goofies out here. So, like, you all, you know, you really, I'm really just testing them, you know, by me being from Miami. Like, we always feel like we the best at everything we do. I mean, which is true, but, I mean, I don't really care how big you is because I'm going to find a way to win. Like, that's just the mommy lifestyle. You got to get it how you live. Okay. The biggest game I see you have to date is the second round of the 2019 NCAA Division II playoffs to number 20, West Florida. You finished the game with seven catches for a game high of 162 receiving yards and two touchdowns, but you guys lost. What is that What is that like for you? Oh, man, I, I took that loss with a smile. <laughs> a ball, like, it's no I in team, but I did as much as I could, you know. It just... I don't even feel like they wanted it more than us. We just nah. They when I did my when I did my research and I watched the game highlights, I seen a lot of that was um in the second half after you got guys came out of halftime. Yeah, I mean we just I don't know, we just not used to losing. Like I, we went into halftime, I'm looking at the scoreboard, I couldn't even believe what was going on. We was down by like twenty one points, twenty eight points and then we came back and we scored like 21 on answer, took the lead in the fourth quarter. <laughs> and we just came up short. Like that was a that was a devastating loss. To come all the way back from behind like that and to lose, that was that was heartbreaking. Okay, okay. What is something you feel like you must improve to get you to that next level? Um I feel like I just need to like network with a lot of more people. Me personally, I'm very like Go and do my own thing. I work out by myself. And I just see a lot of people, you know, like people that I know not better than me, like not no hating, that I know not better than me. I see they get a lot more opportunities because they do a lot of more networking. With me, I just rather like fall back and just get it out in the mud and just let them come find me, not put myself in front of them. Okay. What current NFL team offensively do you think you will fit in perfectly? Um... All uh, whoever, it don't matter. Just throw me the ball. I like that answer because when I watch, because <laughs> once again when I watch the highlight tapes, you're not doing nothing fast. You yeah, you're taking yeah. them out there. Yeah, I'm you just, put them on that island. Just whatever route you need me to run, let's, let's do it. Let's run it. <laughs> if you could compare your playing style to anybody in the league today, who would it be? Uh, uh actually somebody who won't watch football like that. I would say, I would say. A A B, with with a little bit of Odell. I say A B just because you know he from Miami. It's just like it's that mentality. Like you don't like if you talking too much. I ain't even gonna talk back to you because like all right now you think you bad. So now I really gotta show you. Versus if you ain't talking, I'm just gonna keep talking to you because you don't got no no fight in you. <laughs> and then I say Odell with it because like I play with swag. I play with demeanor. Like. I could be in the middle of the game dancing, you know, like play going the other way. I'm on the back side of the plate, entertaining the crowd. But you know, like it's all it's nothing negative, it's all positivity. So like that's who I mix my game play with. Okay, okay. I feel like you have a chance of going to go into the NFL, I really do. And if the stars align, you could be you could very well go, be going there. But if you don't, what's next? Uh if I don't, I mean I'm gonna come back. Well, if I don't I'm gonna go back to school and get my master's degree, just to you know, first keep me out of Miami, and secondly, that's to put like you know, my second foot forward. Like graduating college is like that's putting your best foot forward. That's like one foot in, one foot out. But if I feel like if I go get me a master's degree, I will put <laughs> both foots in the door. You know, it's like everybody, well, not even everybody got a degree, but then some people might have a degree, but everybody ain't got no masters. You know. So that's, that's what's really going to separate you from everybody else because, you know, like, you got to do something that's going to separate you. Like, if you ain't standing out, then you want as everybody else in the bottom of the bucket. And, you know, crabs fall in the bottom of the bucket. I'm going to just go and survive. Okay. For the record, what's your GPA and your major? Uh, my GPA right now, I'm like, I'm like a 3.1, 3.2 in my major. I'm a math media major. Okay, okay. Um, goals for your senior season? Um, goals for my senior season. Um, I really want to touch a thousand yards. You know, I mean, I put it on like, camera. I, I feel like you know, I feel like, like th this is my thing. Like, 
for all the, you know, like the speculation about like, oh, you so good, but you never made like, oh, the, 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 the receivers to look out for the up and coming. I just, I, you got to think about it. Like we have a receiver core, you know what I mean? It's four receivers and all of my boys ball. Like I have number two, Buzz. Buzz probably named ring, probably ring more bells than mine. I have Kenny Benjamin. He been starring since a freshman. Then I got another young guy over there who's balling. So like, I can't really touch a thousand yards because I got, you know, my peers around me. It's like, you just got to spread the love. So one of my goals is to have a thousand yards. Even if I don't, cool with me because I got the accolades. I got championships. I got everything. Everything to prove that I'm a winner, to prove that I wanted the best at Valdosta, to prove that our class is the best at Valdosta. That's that's facts that you can't take off paper. Okay, okay, that's a, re that's a real response. Before we go, believe it or not, there's someone in Miami just like you. He coming out of high school. He underway. He undersized. He want to play receiver. What advice do you have to him? My advice to him is, look, bro, man, take it to the moon. Like, trust me, I don't been at camps around five stars telling me that I ain't good. I don't. I don't route it plenty five stars. I don't route it D one athletes. Maybe some players in the NFL like the is it, yours. Like, don't never let. Nobody tell you you too small. Don't let size intimidate you. It's like, if you want it, it's there. Go get it. That's all. Thank you for watching. That's Miami Time. That's all we had today.